Right, you may have, uh, because we have spent a considerable time on the network layer, uh, forgotten that we are progressing through the OSI model layers. And uh, so we have, you know, dealt, uh, we spent a lot of time on networking as is appropriate. You know, networking is very central uh, to what's going on here. But we're moving up a layer now. We're moving to the transport layer. So just to, to recap, um, we've had the physical layer where uh, data transmission does not take place. We're just talking about signaling and we have to talk about modulation and demodulation in order to get data uh, and data connectivity for the data link layer. So, uh, data link layer is, you know, first time we're talking about data, and then networking, making sure that we get the uh, data not just over one single link, but in correctly getting it to a node among a, a number of other nodes. And so all the work that needs to be done at the network layer to do that. And again, we have uh, spent a fair amount of time there. So moving up now to the transport layer. And uh, I mean, there's a lot that goes on at the transport layer. Um, but one of the major issues that we deal with here is uh, we're not for the first time. We, we've talked about the fact that we've got um, fragmentation issues. And again, at the network layer, we've had uh, possible attacks such as teardrop, uh, such as the ping of death. Um, abusing the the concept of, of packetization and uh, fragmentation and defragmentation. So uh, here at the transport layer though, we are going more fully into that concept because um, here we start to make a dis distinction between uh, TCP and UDP. Of course, UDP is for uh, individual packets that we, um, you know, it's just a, it's a single packet, it's a single entity, and, uh, you know, you get the packet, that's fine, you don't get the packet, uh, something happened. Um, now, what we need to do at this point is, uh, or, or need to consider at any rate, is, is this part of a larger entity? Do we have a, uh, you know, is there more data that's related to this? And so we, do we have a stream? Do we have a file? Do we have uh, a sequence of commands, a, a um, some kind of a handshake protocol. Um, and, and we've done this before at the network layer, even at the data link layer. But um, we need to consider it more carefully here at the transport layer because this is uh, the point where that, that starts to become a major issue. And we need to uh, determine, you know, are we using UDP? Are we using TCP? Uh, TCP more connection oriented uh, and UDP being uh, connectionless, essentially. You know, this is a packet, it's an entity in and of itself, and it doesn't need to relate to anything else. Um, this is the point at which um, 
we start to consider, um, do we uh, correct errors? If um, this is part of a larger entity, um, if, if this packet is part of a file and we, we are missing it, we, we don't get it, um, you know, talking about retransmission, um, uh, other types of error correction that may be involved at the transport layer. And uh, we also find here at the transport layer, this is the first point at which we can have end-to-end -end encryption. Up to now, it, it hasn't been... Well, it hasn't been possible, I, you know, it's, uh, it wasn't a factor to the data link layer, we're just talking about a link. Uh, but at the network layer, um, we, uh, you know, we, we can talk about link encryption, um, and, and we can, you know, maybe make some attempts at end-to-end uh, uh, -end encryption in terms of things like... Uh, Oh, the um, uh, virtual private networks, for example, if if we have encryption as a as a part of the function of of that specific VPN that we're dealing with, but um, this is the point at the transport layer where we can start, you know, really truly talking about end to end encryption. So. Um, it is, you know, uh, no, no, you know, all the layers are uh, specific jumps, but there is a, you know, there's a lot going on here at the transport layer um, that we didn't have to do at the lower layers, and um, it provides new security tools and new security considerations uh, for us at this point. So. Um, you know, there are new things to be careful of and, and beware of as we're dealing at the transport layer.